So, I actually had no intention of recording this cook at all. Um, I got this cool piece of Australian Wagyu. It's not like A5 Wagyu, it's crossbred Wagyu, so it wasn't crazy expensive, but still easily the most I've ever paid for a piece of beef. It's perfect, beautiful, consistent shape. Good colouring. That's bone. This ear doesn't lift here. This decal's still intact, and we don't always see that in the British brisket. So, you can see how tall and how consistent. I don't know what they're doing to the cows over there in Australia, but uh, maybe it's because they raise them upside down. Uh, unusually, uh, this one just came with just, I don't know what this is, just a little piece of extra meat. Could be a tail, could be its face, I don't know. It's something called Cillian Braille. So in terms of silver skin, I've got this little bit of a band of fat here, but it's nothing massive. I can feel just how flexible and pliable it is. And usually the more flexible your brisket is on the underside, the more juicy and tendy it's going to be when it's cooked. I wish I'd set up some lights in a tripod rather than just like the messy kitchen. Look at this intramuscular fat. Look at how tall this is and yet how uniform shape it is. I'm gonna have to do so little shaping. I'm maybe gonna nick this front bit here so this doesn't burn and maybe yeah, trim this little bit here. But apart from that, it's fire ready. This is beautiful. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. A tasteful thickness of it. Oh my God, it even has a watermark. You're sweating. Now, I promise I'm not just going to spend the next 20 or so hours just impressed with myself. I'm going to give some actual, intelligent, witty, insightful, useful commentary. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. 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 Oh, yeah, look at that. Whoa. Look at that! Look at the colours! Look at the flavours! Now, actually, this is interesting. So, having a look at the shape of this brisket, I'm probably about... Oh, burning my arms. I'm probably about, maybe, call it four hours into this cook, okay? And so, when I watch content of other people cooking briskets, I tend to see that they get a little puddle of fat at the back. Now, I've just been doing a little bit of a, a bit of a mop just to keep it moist while I'm cooking, but I've never had a brisket that's kind of had that little little area where you get the fat collected at the back. And that's just because this brisket is the same shape <laughs> as the briskets <laughs> watched on the internet five years ago when it was a little scrub. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. This cook is going really evenly. Look at how even and consistent the bark is. I think part of that comes from the fact that I'm mopping rather than spritzing. I'll, I'll talk about that in more detail one day, but uh, I just think for like such a thick ended brisket, like such a tall flat on this brisket is making a really, really good piece of meat. Oh. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Beautiful. Give it a little puff. Oh. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at this man. Oh. For about five hours. Oh. 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 Six hours. Oh. Oh, screws, mate. Check it out. Look at the legs on that. Oh, that looks beautiful. Sitting at about seven hours. Black starting to creep now. Probably another hour, and this sucker's gonna be ready to wrap. Bloody beautiful. Oh, this has been a really nice cook, you know. It's been a good, easy cook. Oh, bloody hell. Look at that. Oh, I say this is ready for a wrap now, eh? All these bloody wires and cables, it looks like it's on life support. Right, to sleep with you. See you in a couple of hours. This is Good so Lord. fucking floppy. Jesus Christ. I've never had a brisket that's quite this wiggly, 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 wiggly,
I just realized I'm not wearing my fucking gloves. Would you mind if I ran inside to get my gloves real quick? Go for it, run. One this isn't paper anymore, this is... Whoa. How are you even gonna dice this? Like, what's going on? Shit, I don't know, it looked like someone with a plan. Yeah. Well, no. Thank That's you very right. much. Don't, don't, don't give me credit for something I have no design for. What? Looks fucking good. Do this. This is an interesting chemical reaction because this isn't oil. This is a mixture of the... It's something with the cider vinegar. There's some something about mopping it and keeping it drenched when it's cooking. That like the bark doesn't super form as well, but I mean, fuck me sideways. Look at that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I said I wasn't going to spend this whole time just sounding impressed with myself, but I mean. But here we are. <laughs> oh, look at those skid marks. I'll tell you, no, it's a good dinner. Oh shit, there's a dog behind me. This fucking video is going to be anarchy. It's going to start raining any second now. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, bloody hell. That's... I'm actually really... <laughs> this beef came all the way from Australia to just stand and be ogled at by a bunch of people going... <laughs> right. Fuck. Oh. So, the pit that I always care about the most is... The, the middle. Points. Absolutely, that bit where you get a bit of the flat, a bit of the point. Right, let's have a go. So this was... This one's so much more cider vinegar and paprika than I normally use, with a much shorter smoke, longer in the oven. <sighs> oh, <my>. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible nightmare. Shut up, everybody go home. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice. I'm drilling. <laughs> you want to try fucking filming it? <laughs> God damn. So this is our burnt end for today. It doesn't look very burnt end, does it? Fucking hell, it doesn't, does it? Like it's still, it's got that leathery texture, like it's pulling apart, like you're pulling apart like a really old book. <laughs> but in a tasty way. Do the maths yourselves. Right, let's chop some of this up for the guests. People can help themselves. Just gonna, yes, everyone can fuck off. Goodbye. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Holy fucking god, man. So, this is the bit where it always comes out a bit shit. It always comes out dry, and it's just kind of like a hanger on. You know, like that weird friend on a night out that keeps making jokes about like Final Fantasy and no one cares. <laughs> Sorry, there's someone in the background. Brutal. Seen, seen them. <laughs> Boy, shut up. Oh, That's it. That's a secret. I reckon it's the side of vinegar, the short of smoke. Really? I reckon. I mean, it's hard to tell because the variable here is that it's been traveled across the world. <laughs> After we finally got rid of those, you know, uh, illegal criminal cows, we shipped them back. Now we're trying to get them here in the UK again. I'm assuming that's what they did when they got rid of all the British convicts. They got rid of all the British cows that were a bit sketchy as well. Right, I'm going to stop recording. Okay. I, wait, hold on. I'm just going to pull out this middle slice. <laughs> the soundbite of my partner panicking in the background. Yeah, I thought you were going to drop the entire slice in the ground. Drop it down, fucking <laughs> Thank you very much. Everybody, get through. Hey! hey. hey.